Hello. Looks like we're having problems with Facebook, so I don't know if they'll fix that or not, but it is, says it's streaming to YouTube, but anyway. Welcome, Global Tabernacle of David. This is our throne room worship monthly time. And um, might be a, a little bit different this time, but we'll, we're here and ready to go. Father, thank you for this evening. We thank you for your goodness. We pray your blessing over each and every one watching, those watching now, those who will come later. We just pray for your people, Lord Jesus, around the world, the global body of Christ. We just lift them up before you and all the swirlings and the warfare and all the things that are going on, Lord, right now. We just thank you for your victory and we thank you that we can, we can rise above it all because you overcame it all. And so we just pray your glory to be poured out over all the earth as we worship you and praise your name. Amen. Um, well, uh, do you have your elements, Mama, for communion? Got it. Awesome. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do it. No time like the present. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your body and your blood. We thank you for the work of the cross. We thank you that you overcame, you lived a perfect life, overcoming all the temptations that we face so that you could be the pure and spotless lamb, sacrificed, beaten, shamed, taking on all the sins of the world, so that we could have freedom, so that we could be reunited with the Father. And so we just take this broken body and we say thank you. And by your stripes we are healed and through what you suffered, we have freedom and we have breakthrough and we have victory. We just take the body now in remembrance of the work that you did on the cross. And now, Lord, we remember your blood poured out, the blood of the new covenant, your blood poured out for forgiveness of sins, the blood that still speaks, it speaks of a better word over our lives. It's the, it's the gateway to the Father where we can be spotless, set free, whole, cleansed, righteous, and holy because of the blood. Lord, now we just take of the blood in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
it all We give you the highest parade You deserve it all
thousand generations you are worthy, Lord of all. Unto you, the slain and risen King, we lift our voice to heaven.
thousand generations you are worthy Lord of all unto you and slain and risen King we lift a voice with heaven singing worthy Lord of all It's so wonderful to worship you tonight, God. It's so wonderful to take time to be in your presence, to minister to you, to tell you how much we love you and to thank you. You're a great and glorious team. You're wonderful every day, every minute. I mean, every second we have a breath and every second we have a heart beating. We're just so grateful, Lord. Thank you for letting us live so that we can praise you. And I just wanted to uh, read the um, the lyrics of the song, O oh, Four Thousand Tongues to Sing. O oh, Four Thousand Tongues to Sing, my great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. My gracious Master and my God, assist me to proclaim to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of your name. Jesus, the name that charms our fears, that bids our sorrows cease, his music in the sinner's ears, his life and health and peace. He breaks the power of canceled sin. He sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean. His blood availed for me. To God all glory, praise, and love be now and forever given by saints below and saints above, the church in earth and in heaven. So God, we just thank you. We thank you for voices that we can just tell you how much we love you. I think of all the voices that are in our heads and just, you know, at any given moment, the enemy and our own thoughts. And we choose your voice, God. We choose your voice and we choose to use our voice to honor and glorify your name tonight. We bless you. Thank you, God. Thank you.
one on the throne Jesus Holy He is worthy of praise All honor and glory There is one on the throne King Jesus You're holy Psalm 29. 
the glory God thunders. Proclaim his majesty, all you mighty sons of Yahweh, giving all the glory and strength back to him. Be in awe before his majesty. Be in awe before such power and might. Come, worship wonderful Yahweh, arrayed in all his splendor, bowing in worship as he appears in the beauty of holiness. Give him the honor due his name. Worship him wearing the glory garment of your holy priestly calling. The voice of the Lord echoes through the skies and seas. The glory God reigns as he thunders in the clouds. So powerful is his voice, so brilliant and bright, how majestic as he thunders over the great waters. His tympanic thunder topples the strongest of trees. His symphonic sound splinters mighty forest. Now he moves Zion's mountains by the might of his voice, shaking the snowy peaks with his ear sticking sound. The lightning fire flashes, striking as he speaks. God reveals himself when he makes the fault lines quake, shaking deserts, speaking his voice. God's mighty voice makes the deer to give birth. His thunderbolt voice lays the forest bare in his temple all fall before him with each one shouting glory glory the god of glory above the furious flood the enthroned one reigns the king god rules with eternity at his side this is the one who gives strength and might to his people this is the lord giving us his kiss of peace Amen. Matthew chapter 21, starting with verse 1. And the thought came to my mind uh, of the God of Jesus' glorious entry into Jerusalem. It says, when they had approached Jerusalem and come to Beth Page, at the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find a, a donkey tied there and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says to you, uh, what, what, what shall I say? The Lord said, Immediately I will send them, and this will be fulfillment of the spoken thoughts of the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, gentle and mounted on a donkey, even on a colt, the fowl of the beast of burden. The disciples went out just as Jesus had instructed them and brought the donkey and the colt and laid their coats on it. And he sat on the uh, coats. Most of the crowd spread their coats on the road. Others were putting palm branches and trees, spreading them out on the road and the crowd was going ahead of him and those who followed him were shouting Hosanna son of David blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest and when he entered Jerusalem all the city was astir who is this and the crowd was saying this is the prophet Jesus from uh, Nazareth in Galilee and so I thought how often the scriptures from Old Testament to the New Testament prophetic things uh, repeat themselves. Jesus, this was Jesus' entry into Jerusalem before he was crucified, but he's coming again. He's coming as a glorious king who will set the world straight. And we thank you, Jesus, that you uh, always come in types and places, but you are triumphant. Even on death, you were triumphant because you gave triumph to, to those who love you. And you are coming again into Jerusalem, and you will set the captives free. We thank you for that in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, <clears throat> I just had it come on my phone about um, Iran uh, threatening Israel. Uh, so right now, Lord, uh, 
We just declare your word. Psalm 35. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with Israel. Fight with those who fight against them. Take hold of shield and buckler and rise for their help. Lord, we just thank you, God, for every promise you have over Israel. We thank you, God, that there are still many things that are going to happen there. We thank you, God, for the salvation that you're bringing forth in the land. Every uh, every Jew that you're revealing yourself as the Messiah every Muslim that you're revealing yourself as the Messiah. And God, we just pray peace over the land. And we just thank you, God, that every plan of the enemy fails right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just declare right now, God, not a single missile will strike in Jesus' name. We thank you, God. You have done such miracles in that land over and over again. We thank you for every testimony, every supernatural intervention of of war, God. And you've done it so many times, God. We we just, we know you're going to show up, God. So we, we praise you, Father.
for the ones who don't have a voice. We cry out, holy is the Lord. For all the ones who don't have a voice, we cry out. cry out, come home, we cry out, come cannot see and for the ones who cannot hear we cry out Break for set them free, heal the lame, heal the sick. You're the God of yesterday, today, and forever. What you did when you were here on earth, you're still doing it today. You healed everyone who came to you. You healed everyone the same. Everyone you heal. You're doing it still today. Oh. We see Lazarus come forth. Come out of the grave. You're raising up the dead Still today We say arise up, come forth Take off your grave clothes You've been made whole
But you and you alone, there is no one on the throne. But you and you
Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you that you are a great high priest. Thank you that you're Lord of all and that you rule and you reign. There's no other name. There's no higher name, Lord. We put our full trust in you. We just speak out to the nation, say, come, come, come to the living Lord. Come to the, the only one, the only God that hears, the only God that sees, the only God that speaks, the one true living God, Jesus, name above all names, come, come. Lord Jesus, have your way. Have your way on this earth. Be magnified, be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bless you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate your worship. Have a good evening.